stop you from driving on Toro Loco Ice, Matt Fire Zombie, and you are watching Door Z. Who knocked my door? This is Door Z here, and welcome to my World Finals 20 predictions. Yes, I am going to the World Finals this year, which is coming in three days. I am leaving the Florida in two days. So, I'm going to do my predictions right here, right now. And, yeah, I mean, can't wait for this show. My first ever World Finals. Unfortunately, only 24 trucks. The reason is because they have more competitions in it. In my opinion, whoever is already in the main 24 lineup shouldn't be in the two-wheel skills of the high jump challenge and just the other ones, so it's fair to have more drivers and trucks to get more opportunities in it. Because there's still some drivers and trucks that should be in the main field too, who aren't in it, unfortunately, but who cares? It's still going to be a good show, <clears throat> and let's get to my predictions. Okay, first up is the ATV skills competition. All these are drivers from the arena tour. I'm not going to say who's going to be in it because I don't want this video to be long. So, my predictions for the ATV competition will be Kayla Blood and Soldier Fortune. Yes, I think this will be a female year winning this. I don't know, Kayla Blood, in my opinion should be in the showdown competition and she just had a very very good year this year coming in third in her uh triple threat series group triple threat uh triple threat series central fortunately i was going to go to one of the shows in new york new York, new jersey unfortunately i couldn't go so i think kayla blood and soldier fortune has this and let's see if she does or not Okay, next up is the Speedsters competition. So my prediction might shock you all. I don't think none of you will agree with me here, but I think my prediction will be Matt Cody in Blue Thunder. He is a really underrated driver. He was, I think he's a very good driver. And Blue Thunder has been a really known truck for many, many years to come. Uh, Matt Cody didn't have a great season this year. He didn't. Fortunately, his beacon was a bit rough, but he picked it up at the end. Like, he was getting 28 to 29 points each show, which is really good. He suddenly just flipped the switch and just was becoming very well. He's really good in the Speedster competition. He was almost in the finals for everything. So, to pick a driver to do this, I think it would be Matt Cody and Blue Thunder. Alright, for the showdown competition... So my prediction for this will be Blake Granger in Max D. I predict he will win the showdown competition. My reason is he was in the Triple Threat East group and he was leading for a pretty long time in that group. And fortunately, Tristan England and Urshaker passed him and he didn't get back up. So I believe Blake Granger, out of all these drivers, deserve this because... He was in the lead for his group for a pretty good long time, so I hope he wins this showdown competition and be in his first World Finals in Orlando, Florida. I just want to say sorry about my voice right now. It might be a little bit different. I am sick right now, and I hope this feels better from Thursday. I'm recording this right now, which is Tuesday, and it's going to be uploaded on Tuesday, but just wanted to say that. Alright, so for my high jump challenge, uh, so my prediction, so my prediction for the high jump challenge is, you know, Mr. Excitement himself, you, there's no doubt about it, will be Jim Kohler in Avenger. So, you already know, he always likes to go big, really high jumps every World Finals, and the high jump challenge is pretty much... His home right there, fortunately last year, he hit one jump and flipped right over, unfortunately. But see if he can prove himself wrong from last year, where he can win this high jump challenge. And if he can, that means he has won a world finals competition every, I believe, nine years. 
uh, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I believe it's nine or eight years, something like that. So my prediction for that is Jim Kohler and Avenger. All right, for the two wheel skills competition, there is very good drivers in this competition. Very good drivers. <clears throat> Any one of these could win, but in my opinion, your winner will be Neil Elliott and Max D. My, my reason for this, he has won every two wheel skills competition this year, except for two, I believe, or three. So, I mean... If that doesn't prove you wrong, I mean, I don't know what can. He won every single one but two. He's That's just him. He's just a very good two-wheel skills competition competitor. And that'll be his first time winning a world finals. Because he's never won one. He's the best driver to not win one. I believe so. I don't think he has won one. I, don't, I believe he has not. So, my prediction for the two-wheel skills competition is Neil Elliott and Max D. Alright, for the race and competition, I originally had Tyler Manica and Gravedigger to win just because the past few years he's been in the finals twice in a row and lost to, actually, to both Anderson brothers, son of a digger, Ryan Anderson, and Gravedigger Adam Anderson. But I did not predict that. My prediction is jimmy cream and bounty hunter i think it's time for him to win the race in competition for the world finals he's a very good racer he has won race in this year he has won a race this year don't remember where but i think it's just his time to do it he's been in every world finals but one he is the 2005 freestyle champion and i think it's his time to win racing as well so my prediction is Jimmy Green and Bounty Hunter. And now it is time for the last show. The freestyle competition. So I've been going through every driver in the main 24 lineup. Thinking who will win this year. And I chose a guy who hasn't won at all. None. No world final championships. He is such a good driver. He... Is one of the best who hasn't won either, just like Neil Elliott, and I think it's his time to win. He had a he had an okay season. His begin was kind of shabby, but he was picking it up at the end. I believe he came in fifth in his tour, and that would be Lindsey Wink in the Lucas Oil Crusader. Yes, I predict Lindsey Wink to win the freestyle competition in Orlando, Florida, in the World Finals. Like what I said, he's been driving for a very long time in Iron Outlaw to Blue Thunder, Jurassic Attack, and to Lucas Oil Crusader. He's been in this business for a very long time, and I think it's his time to win a World Finals Championship, and I think his best bet is he is a very good racer, but I think freestyle is the one he will win. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to say once again, I am going to Orlando, Florida. And yes, I will be doing interviews. I hope I get everyone. I'm going to try to get the main 24. And try to get Corey Rumble and Scott Buto. And that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get every single one. But I hope I get the main 24. And Corey Rumble and Scott Buto. So... I guess that's it, guys. We will see you guys next time. Diva. Diva. Anyone driving the Earthshaker Monster Jam truck and you're watching Door Z.